Hello and welcome. Today we will needle felt a hedgehog like this one. For this project you will need a needle felting mat, some brown wool sliver, white wool batting, and a bit of black batting, plastic or glass safety eyes, some glue, small and sharp scissors, and of course a felting needle. Let's get started. Take the brown sliver and separate it into four or five strands. Roll one strand into a tight round shape. Start poking the shape with needle. If you are new to needle felting, take it slow. Insert the needle deep and take out under the same angle. Do not bend the needle while it's inside the wool. You might easily break it. Remember that the tip of the needle is very fragile. It is also very sharp, so be careful to not prick your fingers. Look at the spot that you are felting all the time. You have to poke evenly across all the surface of your shape. Do not felt in just one spot. It takes time to make the ball dance. The more you felt, the firmer your item becomes. Once you are happy with the level of firmness of your ball shape, take another strand, wrap it around the first shape and repeat all the process. Continue adding more wool in this way to shape the body of the hedgehog until you are happy with the size. Leave some brown sliver to cover the seam with the head later on. Now let's make the head. Take a piece of white bedding and roll it into a cone shape. Needle felt the tip of it, that would be the nose. And leave the other end loose, as we are going to use those fibers to attach the head to the body. Rotate the head as you go to felt evenly across the nose. Be careful not to prick yourself. Don't felt if you get distracted or look away. You can add more wool if you want to make the nose thicker. Wrap it around and needle felt evenly. If you want the wool to felt well, don't stretch it when wrapping it around. 
If you wrap it too tightly, the fibers will get cut with the needle instead of being pushed inside. Now let's attach the head to the body. Use the loose fibers to do that. Move the needle deep into the body when attaching the head. Try to make an accurate line between the head and the body. Insert any loose fibers on that stitching line into the body. Let's continue shaping the nose. You can make it denser by felting more. You can also bend it a needle felt while keeping it bent to make it pointier. Let's hide the seam between the head and the body. Take the remaining brown sliver and wrap it around the head at the seam. Needle fell starting from the edge. This will give you a neat transition from the head to the body. You can also go all over the body with the needle to make sure there are no loose fibers. Let's work on the eyes. Decide where you want the eyes to be and start making two holes for them by poking in the spot where each eye will go. Then take your scissors, insert them deep and cut holes for the eye holders. You can insert the eyes to test the fitting and see how they look. If you're happy, go and glue them in.
Let's make the muzzle. We will do the nose by making a small ball from the black wool. Leave some of it for the mouth as well. Roll the ball in your hands and needle felt it to the tip of the nose. Now take two tiny strands of black wool and create the mouth by carefully felting the muzzle features. That's it, your hedgehog is done. You now have a great woolen toy that you've made yourself. Congratulations! If you enjoyed the tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I also sell a needle felting kit for this hedgehog. You can find the link to it in the video description.